Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Got something for you guys today. Uh, picked up a little third gen Camaro 85 for a project. Uh, T-tops. So uh, what we plan on doing with this thing. Just a little all motor LS setup on it. Picked it up last night. There it is. Plan on getting it painted and getting the body work done. But uh, gotta get the motor right first. It has a um, 5.0 in it, a 305 automatic I wanted an automatic I was looking for an automatic interior is all there yeah, everything's there the dash is all there interior in the back I'll show you guys under the hood um, engine trans everything's all there AC Everything's all there, but um, I'm going to take it out, put the LS in it. But uh, today, uh, I'm going to end up picking up a donor car. We got a Suburban 2003 um, that I'm going to go pick up right now. So, I'll show you guys that. I'm going to offload this and then go pick up that. But yeah, so we're going to pick up our parts car. Um, I bid it on it yesterday on Copart. It's an insurance car. It's a little crashed in the front, but um, I'm not really worried about that. I just need the motor. It's a 5.3, uh, 160,000 miles on it. Um, trans is there. Everything's all there. Interior. I don't need any of that. I just need the harness and the transmission and the engine. But going to the shop right now, I'm about to drop this Camaro off and then I'm gonna head to Copart. I got two cars. I got one to sell and then one to fuck around. So I'm gonna do that. I'll update you guys once I either up offload the car and once I'm at Coop or something. Parts car for the build. Starts up, no problem. Didn't even have to jump it. It was weird. So uh, today I got my first little uh, pieces to the puzzle. Got my ICT billet mounts. Camaro. So this is gonna mount onto the LS and uh, adapt my original clamshell mounts so it sits in like factory, no cutting or anything like that. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try to. So um, I'm gonna try to get the motor out of the Tahoe as soon as I get some time and uh, get that mounted into the Camaro. I still need to get a transmission because uh, I have a four-wheel drive tranny. So uh, I'll probably end up going 4080. I was thinking go 4060, but might as well just get the better trans because I'm already there. We're pulling out this motor, harness, computer, everything. This is about to go in the Camaro. Uh, got the front end off. Uh, we got our engine adapters already. I already ordered those. They came in yesterday. But yeah, I'm just working on getting this out. Still need to get a tranny for this one. So, yep, getting it. It's pretty hard to get out because it's 4x4, had that transfer case on the end. But what I wasn't sure about is if I can take that end housing off and use it as two wheel drive. So, so 
Oh yeah, we're gonna get this all washed up and clean. Get ready to put in the Camaro. The parts car. Got the harness all removed, everything all removed. About to have pick park pick it up right now. Got some black carpet for the Camaro. Um, well, the, a little vacuum on it. Uh, kind of took a break on working it, on working on it. Um, got the engine and transmission right here. Uh, I need to take this trans off. It's the four wheel drive trans. But um, I'm gonna probably try to see if I can mock up the motor today and uh, see how she fits in there. And I'll record a little bit of that. But yeah, so right now cleaning up this carpet my carpet's disgusting and it's a light like white color motor kind of mocked up uh, I probably need to adjust my mounts back because it's hitting a little steering power steering right there so I gotta bring the adapters back so to clear that but um, this is what it's looking like so far it's pretty close I don't know if, I don't know if yesterday if I got there so you guys pictures of the interior black carpet but yeah this is how far I'm getting for today um, I'm gonna probably adjust that mount and um, just lock it in there keep it mounted and clean up all these wires and stuff Pretty close. <laughs> I need to get this body work done. I've got the fender for it. I just need to get it all sanded. Someone to do the body work for me. I don't really want to do it. Okay, so I uh, reached my stopping point for the night. I uh, got it in there pretty good. And uh, I just moved the mounts back 
to make room for that. That was the only thing that was really in the way. But now I just need to get all this cleaned up and painted and uh, organized. It looks like a mess. But yeah, this is it. 6.0. I want to order some headers. Okay, so uh, yesterday I got the motor in. Uh, earlier I just took the motor out. I'm about to get this engine bay cleaned up. I'm gonna get it all painted right now. But uh, right now I'm about to wash it down and then spray it. the engine bay turned out it's kind of dusty right now it's been a day uh, the lighting's not the greatest right here but yeah um, turned out pretty good I mean just simple black and then uh, I did some sanding on the car Sanding made things look a lot better. Yeah, so the sanding I did made things look a lot better. I still need to do a lot more, but I just went over with the DA with a 320. See right there, got a little low. Need to uh, pull this little small dent out. But yeah, I was just looking at the car over while I was sanding it, and it's decently straight like there's it's little spots but like right here like it's just small it's like everything up here is pretty good it's just the paint kind of chipped off but like that's all straight right there and then right down on the bottom it has a little dent but besides that the whole car is pretty straight so today I've been working on uh, painting the motor, getting it all cleaned up, got the oil pan done, and uh, these valve covers. Uh, I'm going to paint the block black down there, yeah, just get it all refreshed. adapters for the clamshells those are pretty easy to put on um, when I test fitted the motor the motor went right in uh, perfect I think these are like 50 bucks and then that's my original clamshells off my original uh, 5.0 